He fell through a strange psychedelic snowstorm and some words of William Blake's. If the doors of perception were cleansed, everything would appear to man as it is, ran through what was left of his mind, followed by visions of surf angels in leather bondage and piercings. He finally came to rest in the port of Anzio near Rome in Italy, watching some fishermen mending their nets. And as he threw up, he thought to himself, how biblical. I think I've had enough of this. He caught a train to the nearest teletransporter station and checked in. He boarded the interstellar cruiser and made his way to the observation platform with the rest of the intergalactic tourist passengers. As the great craft lifted off, he saw his name on a public notice board and he knew he was in trouble. His mission was a complete failure. The master had disappeared, the dancing fools had disappeared, he was going home. As the speed increased, they all watched as the Earth, this strange planet, slowly drifted away. In his mind he decided he really had had enough, but that he would return again to the Earth. And as global warming kicked in, and as the oceans began to rise, he would spend the rest of his days learning to surf and learning to dance, like the dancing fools. Enough of science and of art. Close up these barren leaves. Come forth and bring with you a heart that watches and receives. There was words with it. And then there was, I like hearts like mine. From Marcos Bambacaras. Thank you.